Hi, and welcome. Thank you for joining me on my sewing journey. Today, I've been working on a cat and mouse pin cushion. This was a very simple project. Most of it was made out of felt. To make the base, you need two triangles. One for the top and one for the bottom. Then you measure from this side all the way around to this side for the piece right here. I can get it to hold still, right here. You'll measure all the way around and cut a strip about an inch wide, or an inch and a half actually. And then you'll go on the other side and cut a small strip the same width, but just from the length of here to here. Or if you want, you could cut the whole thing if you added it all together and go all the way around. But I found it easier to sew it in two pieces instead of in one. Next, you will sew these strips on the side pieces, panels, all the way around. And then you'll sew on the bottom piece, which no one's going to see it, so it can be any fabric that you choose. And then comes the fun part, making the little mouse. He is two circles, one for the body, one for the head, and then I cut triangles for the eyes, a little triangle for the nose, and triangles for the ears, and I just sewed them on and I stuffed them with polyfill. And then I made his tail, it was this one long little strip of felt, and I rolled it, after I sewed it on, I rolled it and rolled it and then tacked it down so it would have a curly little tail. The cat is two big circles. The collar covers up where the two circles meet. I need a little bow by just making a square and pinching it down and sewing it that way. The ears are just triangles. The eyes are triangles. The nose is triangles. I tried to make this as easy as possible so a beginner could do this. And the tail again is just one little strip. So to the back of the cat and onto the cheese. Then you stuff it with the polyfill, or if you want, you can stuff it with crushed walnuts or sawdust or anything that you like to stuff your pin cushions with so that you can have it be full like this and stick your pins in. This was a very fun and simple project. Anyone could do this. I hope you liked the video, and happy sewing.